Hello and welcome to Miracle English Language and Literature Institute. I'm Professor Ava Sharma and I'm making a new video series on linguistics. I've already done one video. Go and watch it. And if you have not subscribed our channel till now, please do and hit the bell button because then only you will get the notifications. And today I'm going to take up phonetics and phonology. Do not get confused. They are almost the same terms. Uh, phonetics means the sound and phonology is the study of that sound. Just take this in mind and let, we will call it phonetics throughout the video. There are three types of phonetics. Articulatory phonetics, acoustic phonetics and auditory phonetics. Articulatory phonetics, what is it? It means how you pronounce, how you articulate. How you, how you form the sounds through your mouth, throat, palate, teeth, lips. How you articulate, how you speak. This is the speaker's faculty. Then acoustics. Acoustics means when the speaker speaks and the sound travels and the hearer hears it. The acoustics should be good. Means the sound coming from there should be able to reach your ears in a fine manner. It should be audible. Acoustics. And the third one is auditory. Auditory means it is the hearer's faculty. How he decodes the sound and understand. The sound travels and enters his uh, ears and then he kind of understands it through his understanding, through the articulation, through the sound, speech, mechanics. Now let's apply the study of phonetics to English language. You all know that English language has 26 letters. And how many vowels and consonants are there? 5 and 21. But if I ask you how many vowel sounds are there, what will you say? There are 20 vowel sounds in English language and 24 consonant sounds. Now 20 vowel sounds out of just 5 words. A, E, I, O, U. Say your vowels. I know my vowels. I know them before I come. Well, if you know them, say them. A, E, I, L, U. A, E, I, O, U. That's what I said. A, E, I, L, U. That's what I've been saying for three days and I won't say them no more. It means we have short walls, we have long walls, and we have the combination of the two walls which we call them diphthongs. Similarly, we have two kinds of consonant sounds. One is voiceless, where you do not hear the voice much, only the airflow, and the voiced ones, which do not contain any kind of airflow. Let's take the short words first. The very first word, e. That is small e, which we use in sit, bit, kit. The second one, a, that is head, that is said, a. The third one is hat, cat, a, that is a, and this is a. Very little this difference between uh, these two. Head, a, and hat, a. Next one is a, uh, which we use in ka, a. Uh. Then o, oh, cot, sot, bot. Then u, small u, book, shook, and then small a, a. Uh, above. The short vowels are seven in numbers and the long vowels are five in numbers. So let's do the long vowels. Now we did small e, 
Here we have got the long E, sleep. We extend that E. Beat. Then you have got, then this long E, arm, farm. Now you have all the longer one. As we speak it, horse, caught. That is caught. This is caught, C-A-U-G-H-T. Next is who. That is shoe, boot. Where this who is a longer a sound. Bird. I, we don't speak like this bird. But then, while explaining you, I have to tell you that it is not bird. Bird. But, no, it is bird. So, a bit of a, 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 bird. Now, let's take up the remaining eight uh, diphthongs. And they are combination of two vowel sounds. Day, I, boy. Go now near poor hair. All these eight diphthongs are in combination with two vowel sounds. Now let's take up the consonant sounds. First, we will take a voiceless and then the voiced one. We'll take the voiceless consonants first. P, pen. T, town. K, cat. F, fish. Th, think. Sh, she. Ch, cheese. Then we'll speak about the voiced ones. Book. You don't have to put any air into it and speak like book. No. It is a voiced one. That is book. The day. Not day. G give. L look. R run. H hand. M moon. N name. N sing. Y yes. The the. One is V and the other is W. So W and W. We won the match. The van is going. J is junk. Simply J. J. Then you have the Z sound. That is Z. Z T V. Z. Zoo. Zebra. Then you have J, which comes in measure. Pleasure. Many people cannot speak je sound. The mother tongue doesn't allow them. There is a lot of interference. Phonetics, I'm doing it here. I'm finishing it here. I'm not going into very much detail. You can like read yourself. If you have any query, I'll answer your questions. Because sitting in front of the camera uh, is not proper to make a lesson for phonetics. You need a board. You need so many examples and you need the students right in front of you so that you can make them speak, make them pronounce, make them understand, uh, not virtually, but in reality. I will be including ELT along with linguistics when I'll talk about accent, British, American, the varieties of English and other things too. If you like my effort, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit the bell button. Because then only you will get our, uh, all the updates. Also explore our website www.miraclewebstore.com Until I meet you next with another linguistic video. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.